Hi guys, I had a chance to repair a MacBook 15.4 with a display's uh, screen issue. The customer brought it in saying that they have already replaced the inverter board and they're very sure that the LCD screen is working. They have also replaced the memory but still nothing comes up on the screen so I am suspecting that this is a video chip issue so follow along as I uh, did something to the video chip we're going to remove the chassis I mean I uh, remove the motherboard so the markings those red markings represent the screws so you have to remove those that's the memory bay you're looking at right now those two uh, markings there are screws that are attached to the chop uh, to the top chassis. Uh, that's the back panel. You have also to remove that because it's still connected to the uh, chassis where the, uh, where the motherboard is uh, housed. Those are the side panel screws. That's the battery bay. The uh, it has uh, two tiny screws there. You also have to remove that. And now I'm uh, carefully prying out the top portion, which includes the keyboard. Underneath that keyboard is a flat uh, ribbon connector. Uh, take out the uh, adhesive tape and then uh, carefully um, lift the uh, connector. Now our next objective is to remove all the screws, uh, the anchor screws on the motherboard. The arrows, I um, represent those connectors. The circles represent the screws. So uh, this is self-explanatory. All you have to do is to remove those uh, uh, items that are marked. That's the left uh, fan, and that's the right fan. They also have anchor screws as well, so you just have to remove those. That's the optical drive with three arrows right now. Yeah, I'm prying out the connector for the motherboard. This is the connector for the data and the video. Uh, and the video. At this time, I have to remove the optical drive. The optical drive has still a uh, side screw, so you also have to remove that. So I just removed the optical drive. Now you also have to remove the uh, fans as well as the CMOS battery. That's the left fan. That connector is um, for the battery. So you also have to remove that. And just somewhere Underneath the PCMCA connector or terminal, um, I think that's also a an anchor screw for the motherboard. So you also have to remove that. What I'm saying earlier is, um, just underneath the PCMCA is the power inlet. That's the harness that goes to the power inlet. So you also have to remove, but carefully remove it uh, with care because uh, you might break the terminal that's the CMOS battery connector uh, take it out so I just lifted the motherboard from the chassis now my next uh, objective is to take out the motherboard remove the heatsink so that I can do a heat solder on the video chip. For details on how to solder the video chip, please go to my blog, which is laptoprepairguide.us. Again, that's laptoprepairguide.us, and look for the topic that says how to flow solder a video chip. I have outlined and I have made detailed explanations on how to do it. So I hope this will um, help you guys.
at this time I just as reassembled the whole uh, MacBook and uh, considering that I have already done the flow solder I mean the heat solder on the video chip and this is what happens now so um, it worked so it, it looks like it was the video chip uh, uh, issue indeed so I hope this uh, I have shared a great resource tip please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel or if you need some repair tips more repair tips you can go to my blog at laptop repair guide that us again that laptop repair guide that us us but if you need parts you go to www.laptopreparguru.com again that's www.laptopreparguru.com thank you